Yes. Third cast on this spot using a green ghost rod. And he's got a really nice hit. Barbara, I might need your help with the net, okay? Oh, it's a pike. I thought it was a walleye. He grabbed that crankbait. Beautiful fish. I'm going to call him Slim Jim. He's not very fat, Barb. I really like this green ghost because it has a nice medium action. Um, you can see when I'm fighting this fish, um, the rod bends about halfway down, which is perfect because you get a little bit of delay in setting the hook. It's a nice fish. Are you ready to net it, Barb? I'm fishing with my wife, which is nice because I can net her fish and she can net my fish. want to make sure this guy's tired out because spunky pike are not fun when you have a crankbait with uh, two treble hooks in its mouth. See, I'm using that suffix 832. This is that white braided line. It's an excellent line. Yay, Barb! Welcome aboard. Okay, Barb, ready? I think he's ready. I'll let him fought out. Yeah, he's long and thin. In the net. You got him, baby. Good job. You mind getting the grabber that's at the back? Okay. That plastic device. And uh, thank you, Barb. Boy, look how thin he is. Poor guy. He hasn't been eating very well, Barb. It's nice to have your tool sandy, especially when you're pike fishing. He's got like a blue hue on his cheek. Can you see that? Let me just get that hook out. And then we'll deal with the fish. I'm here. Very important not to get your hands in there when the fish can thrash around in the net. Yeah, look at how blue the cheeks are. Can you see that bar right over here? It's almost like a purpley blue. There, I'm going to put the crankbait, make sure the snaps close in the water. Thank you, dear. And let's see here. Yeah, great way to handle fish. It's going to show you this long, thin pike. Look at that beautiful hue. He is gorgeous. Time to get him into the water. Ugh. The nice thing about this uh, grabber is it's got a little lanyard. And I'm going to put him in the water. Make sure he's revived. We haven't had him too too uh, long out of the water. So he's going to get some oxygen as that water goes through its gills. Sometimes we use that lanyard to pull the fish with the electric. But I think this guy's going to be okay. You can see when a fish starts to get those stress marks um, along the back. We want him to get his nice color back before I release him. I think he's almost ready. So let's see here. You gonna go? 